This week, AYL Gadget Girl Samantha Epperson and I are going to show you all the sweat, blood, and tears that goes into setting up an expo event as we get ready for the 2020 Utah Sportsman's Vacation and RV Show at the Mountain American Expo Center. Then, we're going to follow a Utah families that head up into the mountains for some winter fun at the cabins at Bear River Lodge. Finally, Reese and Marianne are going to show us a city with rich history and distinctive architecture as they show us around the town of Stockholm, Sweden. It's all sailing your way right now. At Your Leisure is next. Well, that sign means it's time for the RV show again, and that's an appropriate way to end our RV safari for this year. And in our final RV safari episode, we're setting up for the show here in Salt Lake at the Expo Center. And we got the whole crew down here trying to get all this stuff put together. Hey, where do you together. want me to put this, Chad? Uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, what? Your wife's what? in the wrong place. Well, why did that happen? <sighs> anyway. I guess it's not as easy to put an RV show together as one might think, but imagine what it's like to put the whole haul together. What goes into putting on a trade show is a whole lot of prepping, planning, and the important part is the execution that follows. So we figured out the boat show and RV show sits on 250,000 square feet of floor space or convention space. There, we roll out approximately 200,000 square feet of carpet. We put down about two miles of extension cords. Um, it takes approximately about 1,500 man hours to install it. And then it takes approximately another 200, 250 man hours to dismantle it. And we do all this in a matter of a week's time. It literally is like constructing a massive house. And we do it in a, in a very short timeline. And then it all has to make sure everything is executed according to the plan. Because we don't have a lot of room for air. Once we start, that snowball is already going. And there's not a lot to stop it. And the show has to open on Friday morning. There's no getting around it. Green Man Enterprises is our large, longest client that we've had. Uh, we've had. We've been with Green Band for over 40 years. My dad and Jonathan Green Band's father were partners in this craziness and um, we've continued that relationship now for over 40 years. So. Well, on top of all the technology they've used over the years to move in and out of these shows so quickly, so old reliable certainly make it good, like a simple old carpet kicker right here. And double-sided carpet tape, what would they ever do without it? Buddy, could you hand me that kicker? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Oh, do you need some help? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, we're going to go right now to our uh, Where To adventure, and it'll be really interesting. Let's go. All right, what do I need to do? Each season holds something magical here in Utah, bringing a chance to do something bold and beautiful at every turn. And while in other places some people spend the entire summer in search of the perfect wave, here in Utah we've spent the winter in search of the perfect trail. This hunt has led us to the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest, which has rapidly grown into a premier destination for everyone who wants to take to the snow. This week we are following one young family to the cabins at Bear River Lodge to rent some snowmobiles and hit the trails. We are going to rent some snowmobiles and we're going to go on some rides. We're going to stay in a cabin. We are at the cabins of Bear River Lodge. Our big draw is the uh, Power Sports Recreation. So we run about 50 snow machines in the winter and we run about 30 wheeled vehicles in the summer. When they rent from us for a couple hundred dollars a day, they get to go out and experience the greatest machines, the newest machines, and go out and enjoy the outdoors. It's a wonderful thing to rent. My favorite part is probably just getting outdoors. I love to snowmobile. 
With a couple of snowmobiles and a Can-Am Defender with snow tracks, this amazing trail system is ready to be explored by the entire family. This forest boasts over 220 miles of groomed winter trails and more than half a million acres designed for snowmobile use. And everyone leaves with a favorite part. My favorite part was snowmobiling because I've never been snowmobiling. I thought it was going to be more scary though because um, probably just how much snow there is and you can do anything in the snow. Got on the machines, got on two snowmobiles and the side by side, and took off into the country. Went all the way to Christmas Meadows. Down Mirror Lake Highway, then branching off to Christmas Meadows on Forest Road 57, this trail offers stunning views, a wide variety of terrain, and even some animal tracks. This is what this sport is all about. In a way, we are getting back to the basics, back to the true beauty of spending time outside. It was overwhelmingly beautiful, just being able to drive up into the canyon and having, I think it's called Bald Mountain, up here in front of you. The clouds kind of cleared and we were able to see everything. It was just beautiful, it was stunning. Riding the snowmobiles with the kids, they had never done that before, so that was a lot of fun. If you're interested in checking out this trail system, Roger Eggert has you covered. Every month we do what we call a tracks ride. I take people out, and it's not guided, it's a group ride. And I go show you my favorite parts of the forest. And it's absolutely free. We started Trax Rides about two years ago for that exact reason, to just give people an opportunity to come experience outdoors. And if you don't have a piece of equipment, we'll rent you one that day half off. BearRiverLodge.com and TraxPowerSports.com. Trax is T-R-A-X, PowerSports.com. Lots of great information they can reserve online. I tell my people all the time, we don't rent cabins, we don't rent snowmobiles. We create experiences and we create memories. And that's truly what it's about. So what are you waiting for? It's time to take on this trail with your family. For At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase. Hi, I'm Nolan Stedman. And I'm Bruce Stedman. We have been selling motorcycles like this since 1960. Motorcycle has been part of our family forever. We love riding and enjoying the outdoors, everything that Utah has to offer. Riding motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, and now side-by-sides. That's what we do, it's who we are. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. We've been proudly serving Utah's families for over 50 years. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out there, but remember, it's only 30 back. Put some adventure in your life and attend the Sportsman's Vacation at RV Show, February 13th through the 16th at the Mountain America Expo. See hundreds of new RVs, motorhomes, travel trailers, and accessories. Buy at the show and save. Take advantage of special show financing. Find RV accessories, fishing, and RV travel destinations. Dutch oven and outdoor cooking classes. Register to win an Alaskan fishing trip. Come on, man. The great is ABC4 Utah and CW30 invite you to the RV Show, February 13th through the 16th. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. Winter is here. Tires, brakes, heater and defrost systems, we do it all. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. It's product review time. It's the What's New segment of our show. And boy, I tell you what, up at Weller's Recreation, the closest dealership to the snow, 
we've got some snowmobile news. So I asked owner Paul Weller to join us. Paul, thanks. You're welcome. So let's talk about the 850 E-Tech Turbo. This is a new sled that is turning heads. So uh, why don't you explain to me how this set up with the handlebars and the seat all works? You bet. So two or three things they've done this year. One is a narrower seat and a shorter seat. So you're not hitting your shin and, and your calf when, you, when you're side hilling side to side. Okay, Paul, they've done a lot on the track back here too. I think we should take a look at that. Yeah, in this expert package, they've shortened the tunnel and they've tapered a little bit more and thus allowing the snow evacu evacuation to come out the back of the machine. I've never seen a turbo like this in a machine. I've seen lots of aftermarket. There are even some guys locally that make them. This looks just mind blowing. BRP and Skidoo developed their own turbo system. Part of this system also has a back pressure sensor in the exhaust. It has its own uh, oiling system that oils that turbo. Really the only machine on the market with a turbo on a two-stroke that offers warranty. Obviously the next step is uh, to the rear suspension. Uh -huh. um, it's the limiter strap adjuster, and that just allows you to set the, the, the ski lift to your preference. In uh, deep snow conditions, steep hills, you want it short because you want those skis down. In low snow, hard pack, you want it long so it's easy to maneuver. You, all you do is you pull this out, run it around along, mm -hmm. the adjustment's made. All you have to do is drive away, it happens automatically. Okay, Paul, you've done a great job of explaining all of the features on this, and I'm really impressed, but you know, I'm a little bit of a skeptic, and I know there are a lot of people watching this review that are a little bit skeptical. Is this thing really that much be better than a regular? It's everything they've advertised. All right, well, are you ready to prove it? You bet. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs>20 ski deep snow sleds. The ski sales event is on now. Visit your local dealer for details.
What is it that gets us out here to the middle of nowhere? What makes us choose the sweltering heat instead of our air-conditioned homes and swimming pools? Usually, it's just some friendly trash talk. Polaris Can-Am World in Mesquite, Nevada. Let us customize the side-by-side -side perfectly for your needs. We try it out on our test track to make sure it's right. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Just days before the RV show opens up this year at the Mountain America Trade Expo here in Sandy. Now, Paris RV has probably the biggest space in the show, 31,000 square feet. And they've filled it with, count this, 75 RVs that they move in in a very short period of time. In fact, less than a day. And they have to get them all ready. So let's find out what kind of effort they make to make the RV show good for you. So we start moving in uh, Monday morning. Well, technically we started last week, we started getting the lot ready just to get the 47 trailers out of there. And then as far as getting them in the building, we start Monday morning. Um, we had every, all 47 trailers in the, in the building at four o'clock. Since then we've been cleaning, setting up, plugging them in, um, you know, making sure they look good for the customers. For the most part, we bring uh, the floor plans that sell the best. Um, we also bring a few of our more unique pieces, um, like the retro behind me or the Opus and stuff like that. Mostly just getting into stuff that, uh, especially uh, normal RVers, have never seen. Um, in fact, a couple of our trailers are from Australia. So, you know, it's definitely something that uh, people have never seen. So it's just interesting to see the stuff from across the world. Love it. It's uh, what, the hardest part is getting in. Once we're in, then, then it's a lot better. Talking to customers and selling is, is a lot easier and much more enjoyable. We are here at the RV show and people are scurrying everywhere to get everything done. You know, like in the last segment, we talked about the macro, the massive number of shows and all the technology they use to get people in and out of here in a hurry. But there's also a micro side to this as well because there are people that have to get everything ready, they got to bring in TV sets, they got to bring in blankets and brownies and things to make everything look homey and cozy. And then on top of that, there's this entire army of cleaners that show up and just spread out everywhere to try and get things. What are you doing? Get to I'm work. just telling him. I... Get to work. Okay. Get everything cleaned up. Well, right now it's time for us to send you guys off to this week's Along the Way. I'm Ray Stein. And I'm Mary Ann Stein. Along the way in Stockholm, Sweden. A city with a rich history. And exquisite architecture. There's a picture around every corner. And a great archipelago. In fact, it gives Sweden the distinction of having more islands than any other country in the world. Sweden's capital city is spread over 14 of the 30,000 islands in the Swedish archipelago in the Baltic Sea. The best way to see Stockholm is by the fleet of ferries that wander through channels lined with multi-hued apartment buildings, locals sunning themselves in the Swedish sun, and forested parkways with trails popular with walkers and scooter riders. The nice villas here, the houses, the, uh, everything with the boat life and the water, this is really charming and this is also quite unique. Further out, islands big and tiny sprout colorful houses, each with its own boat dock, some with seven swans a-swimming. On this day, the ferry must dodge dozens of ocean-going yachts, positioning themselves for an international race into the Baltic. Stockholm's glorious old town, with buildings dating to its founding in the 13th century, is on its own island right in the middle of everything. And at the hub is the town square, bordered by colorful buildings surrounding the 18th century well. The northeast corner is dominated by the Baroque Royal Palace dating from the 18th century. While the royals no longer live here, they move to fancier digs in the country, the place is still protected and the ceremonial changing of the guard is a tourist favorite. <music> the 
The palace with 1,400 rooms dates from 1754 and houses the offices of King Carl Gustav. Downstairs, a display of 13th century armor and transportation fit for a king in the Royal Armory. Nearby, the Nobel Prize Museum honors 700 plus winners who shuffle around the ceiling like shirts at the dry cleaners. Sweden's History Museum features 3,000 gold and silver trinkets. The 20th Century City Hall features a 365-step bell tower with spectacular views of the city. The glittering mosaic Gilded Hall and the Brickline Central Hall where the tours begin except on December 10th when the Nobel Prize winners and their guests feast at the Nobel Banquet. The underground medieval museum includes a 16th century warship resurrected from the muck and a recreation of the town from the 1520s. And speaking of warships, the jaw-dropping Vasa Museum has turned one of history's great maritime disasters into a tourism bonanza. Launched in 1628, she had two decks of 72 cannons, which made her so top-heavy that a gust of wind tipped her over 40 minutes into her maiden voyage. After three centuries on the bottom of Stockholm Harbor, she was raised in 1961 and is now featured in her very own museum, the must-see attraction in Stockholm. Down the street, Sconson, the world's oldest outdoor museum, features 150 historic buildings and farms from all over the country. The public ferry system connects more than 100 of the islands, including charming Grinda, a mostly nature preserve with an inn and restaurant, and a wonderful three-mile loop trail through the pristine forest with spectacular views of the archipelago. Museums, islands, parks, water, Medieval traditions make for a glorious multi-day visit. We stand with Marianne along the way in Stockholm, Sweden. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high. The stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with a youth reservation Skin starvation That Duchesne County life When we go on vacation, I never ask, are we there yet? Because my daddy makes sure each stop we make is at Eagle's Landing They have such cool things for kids, like a petting zoo They have the cleanest bathrooms on earth and Daddy doesn't freak out pulling up to the pumps because they're really big and he says it's the best gas in the world. And you can get your tire fixed like we had to. Oh, and their food is so yummy. Eagle's Landing is so much fun, I don't care if we ever get there. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. She was so excited because she beat me down the run. Deja vu. I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Beaver County, Utah. Make it more than a vacation. Put some adventure in your life and attend the Sportsman's Vacation at RV Show, February 13th through the 16th at the Mountain America Expo. See hundreds of new RVs, motorhomes, travel trailers, and accessories. Buy at the show and save. Take advantage of special show financing. Find RV accessories, fishing, and RV travel destinations. Dutch oven and outdoor cooking classes. Register to win an Alaskan fishing trip. Come on, man. The great ABC4 Utah and CW30 invite you to the RV Show, February 13th through the 16th. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Well, we've got our booth all set up. Everybody's ready inside. There's just one missing element, and that is the opener of the show, and you. i got to tell you, Sam, I'm pooped. Why? Well, because every time I went somewhere and talked to somebody walking around, they put me to work. Yeah, I've been sweeping the doing carpet. I've been doing everything. Well, it's a good thing they put you to work. Yeah. I'll I've been checking out cool stuff. Did you find anything good? Oh, I found some awesome things. Should I show you? Oh, yeah. Cool. Let's go. Oh. 
So this is definitely pretty exciting. These are Wi-Fi extenders, so if you wanna watch a movie on your laptop, you really wanna get that Instagram out, gotta check your Facebook feed, I think this is something that definitely every RV should have. Let's go find some more. Another awesome thing I found, this is called the Grub Stick. So they have these little attachments. Look, they have a s'more in this one. I would love that. And then in this little case here, they have, you can see, a, a circle one for your patties. They have a little square one, that's the s'more box. And then they have like the traditional for hot dogs. I like to roast Starburst. So I would use this one. You can just stack them right on there. This is making me hungry. I wonder if they'd be mad if I took this s'more. All right, let's go. Finally, my last sweet find is this bag. I have a lot of stuff, you probably do too, and that can be hard when you're trying to fit it into the car for a road trip or stuff things into your RV. This bag, you just cram all your stuff in there and tighten it down. It could fit like 10 pillows, maybe clear up the back of the car so you actually have room for the kids. And if you think we could put a lot of stuff in here, just look at what we could fit into next week's episode. Next week, we're headed down to Mesquite to escape the cold and join in the fun of the fifth annual Eagles Landing Charity Golf Tournament. It's sure to be a fun-filled day in the sun, but hopefully not in the sand, as I'm going to get a head start on the competition with some professional golf lessons from a PGA Tour pro. And finally, the AYL crew is headed up to Wasatch Mountain State Park as these marathon runners strap on their snowshoes and take to the snow at the 13th annual Bigfoot Snowshoe Festival. Now let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Instagram by Sophie the Flying Wombat. <laughs> Congratulations, Sophie. It looks like you're the lucky winner of a $400 gift certificate to RIFAB. RIFAB offers the best custom metal fabrication for your rig. Just visit RIFAB.com for more details. And it looks like you've got a special edition Eagles Landing sticker, so you're also going to win a bonus $100 gas and gift card from our friends at Eagles Landing. Now, let's take a look at what's happening this week on our calendar of events. First up, this coming week on February 13th through the 16th is the 2020 Sportsman's Vacation and RV Show at the Mountain America Expo Center. So make sure you get down here and come to our booth and say hi and get a sticker. Then February 28th and the 29th at the same location is the 5th Annual Salt Lake Off-Road and Outdoor Expo. So come join the off-road and outdoor communities at the Expo and stop by our booth and get a new AYL sticker. And finally, February 29th at Fish Lake is Jorgensen's annual Winterfest, which is a great event for the whole family with fat tire bike demos, snowmobile demos, tubing hill, and you can come and watch the search and rescue training. So be sure to come down and join in the winter fun. It's all set up. And next week's show looks pretty good, Sam. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah, I, you know what? We're all set up here, except we're missing one thing. What are we missing? The people. You uh. guys. And we'll just be sitting here waiting until you show up next uh, Thursday when the show, or the show opens here. All right. Well, I guess it's time to do the slogan then. It is. Remember, there's adventure around every band. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. All right. Go show me those, that last thing again. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take a look at it.